Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome all of you to Sankalp Global Awards 2022, where we will continue celebrating entrepreneurs and their role in impacting millions worldwide. I am Sudhan Shudikshit, and I will be one of your hosts for the event. Today, we'll be honoring the most promising social enterprises across sectors. So on behalf of the Avishkar Group, Intellicap, and Sankalp, I extend a very warm welcome to all of you to the 14th edition of the Sankalp Global Awards 2022. As you may all know, the Sankalp Awards are one of Global South's most prestigious social enterprise awards. Now, over the years, Sankalp has recognized more than 2,400 social enterprises and channeled over 300 US dollar in millions to high impact businesses. The awards are designed to support young social enterprises and recognize their impact towards successfully steering change. This year, we had an overwhelming number of entries with nearly 300 applications from 43 countries globally. Each enterprise went through rigorous assessment and finally, 13 of the best enterprises had the opportunity to pitch to our esteemed grand jury from Asia, America, and Africa. Now here's a quick look at our esteemed grand jury members. Sankalp extends their gratitude for sharing their time and expertise to support these young enterprises. Our first category of awards is in the financial inclusion sector. And I would like to now invite my co-host, Margaret Nakunza from the Nairobi office to present these awards. Margaret, over to you. Thank you, Sudanshu. Once again, a very warm welcome to everyone joining in. I'm your co-host, Margaret Nakunza, and I'll be introducing the Financial Sector Award. Financial inclusion is a key enabler to reducing extreme poverty and boosting shared prosperity to achieve sustainable development goals. The COVID-19 crisis reinforced the need for increased digital financial inclusion, which involves De deploying the cost-saving digital means to reach financially excluded and underserved populations. The provision of adequate, accessible, and affordable financial services by the different startups and firms already in the financial space could increase business opportunities, expand investments, and significantly contribute to economic growth. We'd like to feature two enterprises that are addressing these issues. Our first nominee is Aloy from Nepal. Aloy is a micro entrepreneur financing platform that uses blockchain to automatically monitor business expenditures. They catalyze wholesale green lending by connecting wholesale lenders, retail microfinance lenders, borrowers and vendors. They focus on business loans and ensure loans are used by business related vendors. Aloy's co-founders, Tiffany Tong and Sonika Mananda bring a combined experience of 20 years in FinTech, international development and computer engineering experience. Our second nominee is Vital Microfinance AI from India. Vital Microfinance AI is a fintech platform from, for local language preferred users to get microfinancial services through the mobile platform Vital. Borrowers can complete the Know Your Company process, apply for loans, and repay loans without having to type anything. They partner with micro lenders and help them source for funds digitally while making micro lending competitive in the changing digital landscape. Microfinance AI co founders Swati Sinha and Kapil Patil bring more than eight years of experience having worked with non banking financial companies, banks, and fintechs. I would like to applaud both these enterprises for the amazing work they are doing. The winner of the Sankop Global Awards 2022 for financial inclusion is 
Aloy. Congratulations, Aloy. And now we will hear a few words from Tiffany. Thank you so much. We're so wonderfully excited to be part of Sankalp Awards and this prestigious award. So I really want to thank all of my team, especially my co-founder, Sonica, um, and especially a huge thanks from all of the micro entrepreneurs, especially women micro entrepreneurs that we work with. Um, and we want to continue help them to access more financing without alternative credit scores, um, with more ability to lend uh, without a history of collateral or credit history. So thank you very much. And please, if you're interested in collaborating with us, reach out to us through this website. Thank you. And congratulations once more, Tiffany. I'll now hand it back to my co-host Sudanshu to present the Livelihood and Future of Workers Award. Over to you, Sudanshu. Thank you so much, Margaret. Well, after two years of this pandemic, workers continue to struggle to find decent work and income. Rural livelihoods within agriculture and livestock production are undergoing a major crisis due to climate change. In addition to geographic difficulties, discrimination towards gender, race, caste, and disability, among others, is creating further unemployment. Given the positive correlation between livelihoods and the economic growth of a country, nations are now taking active measures to change this scenario. In addition to the public and private sectors, startups in this ecosystem are ensuring that people have better access to infrastructure, finance, or even opportunities. We'd like to feature two such enterprises that are addressing these grave issues. Our first nominee is Esmart from India. Esmart is a curated B2B e-commerce platform for rural retail shops specializing in products that transform rural revenue potential and improve livelihoods, enabling them to sell products that struggle to move through existing supply chains, thereby growing their businesses. As smart co-founders, Prashant Venkat Ramana and Jackie Stenson bring a combined experience of technology, engineering, and marketing across India and the Middle East. Our second nominee is Bandhu from India. Bandhu's mobile platform enables low-income workers to simultaneously line up accommodation and livelihoods by providing each potential migrant with a package consisting of a job and associated rental housing. Bandhu's founder, Rushil Palavajala, has experience particularly focused on finance and tech for urban development in the global south. I would like to applaud both these enterprises for the amazing work they've been doing. The winner of Sankalp Global Awards 2022 for livelihoods and the future of workers is Pandu. Congratulations, Rushil. We'd love to now hear a few words from you. The migrant workers who have inspired us, shaped our journeys, uh, especially helped us evolve the solution with their struggles and successes, and most importantly, the trust they've placed in our experiments. Of course, we're very grateful to Sankal Forum and IntelliCab for sharing our work on this stage and for all the helpful nudges and provocations for the last couple of months. Also, we couldn't have done this without our community champions, our field team, our tech teams, our alma mater, MIT and all our mentors, funders, CSO partners, family and friends. So now we're looking to more of your support, especially the collaborators and funders out there to enable scaling up and eliminate vulnerabilities in the rural to urban migration process. Thank you again, everyone. Thank you so much, Rushil, and all the best for your future endeavors. With that, I'll now hand over the reins back to Margaret will be presenting the award for the next category, which is in clean energy and climate solutions. Margaret, over to you. Thank you, Sudanshu. No country today is immune from the impacts of climate change. 
According to our most recent research, climate change could drive 216 million people to migrate within their own countries by 2050. The urgency and scale of the challenge require countries to learn quickly from each other, adapt to their own social circumstances, and be bold in implementing policies that bend the emissions curve. We need to be prepared for the low carbon resilient transition to enable building climate smart economies that are green, resilient, and inclusive. It's becoming increasingly recognized that impact entrepreneurship and supporting impact entrepreneurs are incredible ways to prioritize the progression of the sustainable development goals. To honor the work of these courageous entrepreneurs, we'd like to feature two enterprises today impacting the clean energy and climate solutions sector. Our first nominee is Equatorial Power from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Equatorial Power is a decentralized energy infrastructure company focused on building and operating solar hybrid mini grids to provide essential power for 20 years. The founder of Equatorial Power, Ricardo Ridolfi, sits on the board of Umeme, Uganda's national electricity distribution company, as well as Axion Energy, a major African energy company. Our second nominee is the Olivet from Nigeria. The Olivet produces domestic and user-friendly digestion technology that processes organic and biodegradable waste into more food and energy. The founder of the Olivet is Tunde Adeyem, an environmental scientist with seven years of experience in the energy and clean tech sector. I would like to applaud both these enterprises for the amazing work that they are doing. And now, the winner of the Sankov Global Awards 2022 for Clean Energy and Climate Solutions is Equatorial power. Congratulations. <laughs> we'll now hear a few words from Shaleen. Hi, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so honored to receive this award on behalf of Equatorial Power. Honestly, I thank God. It's just such a privilege to receive this award. Uh, we are so grateful as the team from Equatorial Power. I want to thank uh, our Co -found, our founders, uh, Ricardo, Dario, Abhishek, our senior management team, and the team at large that has worked so hard to see the vision come through. Um, this team worked extremely hard to, to implement the different strategies. As a company, we are centered around solving a problem for people. So we don't just supply electricity to communities. Instead, we find out how this electricity can serve the people to uh, bring transformation. We have seen livelihoods improve uh, projects uh, across our different projects in DRC, Uganda, Rwanda, and across Sub-Saharan Africa in Tanzania, we have seen communities grow. Uh, we have implemented the productive use of energy and see transform different communities. We have also implemented asset financing, productive hubs, e-mobility, there is more coming. Uh, so just keep your ears on the ground, keep watching out for equatorial power. Not only does this increase our revenues, but overall we have seen the livelihoods of people change across our different projects and from the different plants that we have set up in the different countries, we are looking forward to a scale up and also this opportunity that Sun Suncup, uh, the, the forum of Suncup has given us is just a kickstart for us to scale up to different, different other countries and implement this model, this energy model. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for the team for the work that they have done as well to see this vision come to pass. Thank you. Thank you, Shaleen, and congratulations to you once more. Thank you. Sudanshu, back to you to present the Health and Wash Award. Thank you, Margaret. Safe water, sanitation, and hygiene is not only a prerequisite to health, but contributes to livelihoods by creating resilient communities. Through water, sanitation, and hygiene investments, they aim to improve health outcomes, 
providing improved access to safe water supply and sanitation, and supporting approaches that can be brought to scale and sustained. Now, inclusive business models are offering access to healthy hygienic lives. These services can lower health care costs and save time for poorer populations. The results can be immediate and long-term, providing vital economic and social benefits to millions of people. The benefits of investing in the water sanitation sector and the direct impact that it has on all the other SDGs will bring more impact investors into the sector in the coming years. On that note, we'd like to feature two such enterprises who have recognized this opportunity and are headed towards their impact. Our first nominee is Solinas from India. Solinas is a deep tech startup providing asset management solutions, leveraging robotics for the pipeline and sanitation industry, solving problems of water leakages and eliminating manual scavenging. Solinas founder Devanshu Kumar is a recent mechanical engineering graduate and a young entrepreneur who is passionate about solving complex problems using first principle thinking. Our second nominee is Omiflo from Kenya. Omiflow designs and builds energy and chemical free wastewater treatment systems that convert wastewater to clean water using natural plant based biotechnology and recycle plastic more effectively and sustainably than conventional technologies. Omiflow founder Mshila Sio brings a wealth of experience and knowledge in wastewater management. I would like to applaud both these enterprises for the amazing work they've been doing. The winner of Sankalp Global Awards 2022 for Health and Wash is Solinas. Congratulations, Devanshu. We'd love to hear a few words from you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this definitely comes with a surprise and a strong motivation for us. Uh, very happy to receive this on the behalf of the team and it really showcases the strong impact that we are trying to create and will hopefully continue to create over the long term to solve the problem statement that we have taken on to improve really the integrity of the assets that we have as cities and to focus on problems like manual scavenging and loss of water that is very critical to the current infrastructure and climate uh, challenges that we have. So our work in actually developing technology solutions for identifying these pipeline leakages, contamination, defects, sewer contamination, elimination of these manual interventions that happen in sewer lines, septic tanks. We feel is really important and has also enabled and empowered the people to be able to dream of better lives and to reduce the fatalities and health hazards that happen. And I really thank Avishkar and the Sankal team for recognizing the work. And I dedicate this to all the team members that we have for putting the hard work, to the stakeholders who believed in us. And I hope that we continue to work like this and actually solve the problem of manual scavenging from the country as well as from the world. Thank you so much. Some bold promises and ambitions there. Wish you all the best in those endeavors, Devanshu. Uh, with that, thank you so much. Now I'll be passing this back to Margaret, who will be presenting the award for the agriculture category. Margaret, over to you. Thank you so much, Sudanshu. One third of food produced globally is either lost or wasted. Addressing food loss and waste Food loss and waste is critical to improving food and nutrition security, as well as helping to meet climate goals and reduce stress on the environment. The use of technology can significantly impact farmers' incomes by helping produce productivity, reduce the cost of cultivation, fetch better prices for their produce, and help mitigate the negative impact arising from weather fluctuations. Agricultural development is one of the most powerful tools to end extreme poverty, boost shared prosperity, and feed a projected 9.7 billion people by 2050. Growth in the agriculture sector 
is two to four times more effective in raising incomes among the most vulnerable communities compared to other sectors. With the understanding of growing concerns, we'd like to feature two enterprises today that are focused on addressing these issues. Our first nominee is Farm on Cas Vita from Cameroon. Casvita has invented breakthrough biotechnology for increasing the shelf life of cassava from three days to 18 months, which offers a healthier and better testing wheat alternative at scale and creates prosperity for, for smallholder farmers in West Africa. The founder of Casvita, Pelkins Ajano, has more than three years in experience in product management at Microsoft and consulting at McKinsey and Company. Our second nominee is Numa Eight from India. Numa Eight helps small scale fisher folks by providing early updated marine and weather advisory, backward and forward market linkages and financial connections by using their app. Numa 8 founder, Devlina Batachaji, I really hope I have said that name right, is a data scientist with more than 15 years of experience in using data to solve real world business problems across different domains. I would like to applaud both these enterprises for the amazing work they are doing. And now, the winner of the Sankov Global Awards 2022 for Agriculture is... Numa 8. Congratulations, Divlina. We would love to hear a few words from you. Thank you so much, Margaret. Uh, well, this is definitely a surprise, and I was uh, going through Casapeta's work. So we were competing with the, you know, uh, uh, you know the the leaders there. So thank you so much, and you did spell my name correctly. Uh, but uh, well, uh, uh, thanks to Sankal, thanks to Avishkar, uh, thanks to Delhi Cap for having this wonderfully crafted programs. And I think the, from the very first uh, year when we started working in agriculture, this has been some. This been, it has been a program that we have always, in, uh, you know, wanting to be a part of. So it's wonderful to be here. Wonderful to be competing with the leaders in the in the impact sector. Uh, and uh, I would like like to, of course, I don't have my co-founder here, but Nandini, this goes to you. You have carefully crafted a, a, a team that has. Uh, working in a coastal sector and marine sector and fishing community, which is a very difficult sector to work with. And uh, we have been working on this for the last two and a half years, but there is so much to be done, uh, you know, so much more that the entire um, uh, world needs uh, when it comes to waking up to the emerging need for uh, bringing back diversity to the, uh, you know, to, to all the oceans of the world, and but also to the very small skin, underprivileged, underserved uh, coastal ecosystem of fish farmers who are really uh, even not even getting the one hundredth of what the farmers get in their own ecosystem. So yeah, so we are continuously striving to you know, energy, uh, you know empower them with various kind of uh, uh, advisories, uh, market linkages and financial uh, uh, you know enablement, but we have a long way to go. So Sankar, so much, thank you so much for all of this. Uh, this will definitely boost the team a lot. I'm missing them as, as of now and and uh, anybody who wants to know more about the work, please come and talk to us. Happy to have a have a word. Thank you so much. Thank you, Devlina, and congratulations to you and your team once more. Back to my co-host Sudan should present the Affordable Housing Award. Thank you so much, Margaret. Now in 2020, 30% of all households had unaffordable rent or mortgage payments, defined as exceeding 30% of monthly household income. In addition to rent costs, housing related expenses, these should also be considered, which actually further aggravated the issue. In partnership with Habitat for Humanity, 
we are honored to feature three enterprises today that are focused on addressing these pressing issues our first nominee is twasta manufacturing from india twasta provides 3d printing as a mainstream solution for affordable housing automating construction and improving productivity and sustainability in the industry to provide better infrastructure to millions around the world twasta founder aditya vs has more than 6 years of experience working in the field of 3d printing our second nominee is hustle nomics from south africa hustle nomics provides an innovative housing solution within townships for families who do not qualify for traditional home financing options they enable low income homeowners to utilize their unused backyard space and create supplemental income through rental units hustle nomics founder and i hope i'm getting this right lahanla nunlovu has a combined experience of 6 years in this sector our third and final nominee is modru from india modru manufactures sells and installs modular roofing products for low income families non profits corporate architects and contractors modru founder hasit ganatra is an engineer with more than 5 years of experience in solar electrification electric vehicles and low income housing i would once again like to applaud all of these enterprises for the amazing work that they are doing the winner of the sankalp global awards 2022 for affordable housing is twasta manufacturing congratulations congratulations aditya we'd love to hear a few words from you thank you thank you so much uh, thank you so much for the support and uh, also uh, very honored to be on this platform with sankalp intelcap and uh, the support of avishkar group um so it's been a long journey for us to develop the technology and to actually uh, get it vetted by the market and also by uh, leading players in the market uh and it's been very rewarding we have uh, i mean constructed a few houses we are in the process of scaling up our operations both in chennai mumbai bangalore and other parts of india and uh, it's really uh, very sort of uh, confirming our um, ambition and our uh, hard work um, that we are rewarded at a platform uh, such as this and uh, kudos to the team uh, at vasta and uh, thank you for habit uh, thank you to habitat for humanity and avishkar group for organizing this and supporting us at this event um, really look forward to our journey and uh, potential conversations with you thank you thank you so much aditya and likewise all the best for your future endeavors now with that up on to the popular choice award the sankalp ecosystem winner i'd like to now call upon urvashi devi dayal sankalp india lead to take you through this next segment urvashi over to you thank you sudanshu um let me actually just repeat my pin thank you sudanshu it was truly inspiring to see the work of all these enterprises are doing with such dedication i would like to congratulate all the winners today and before we wrap up we have the last award for today the sankalp ecosystem award We work with so many enterprises throughout the year and find it increasingly difficult to select winners, which is why we turn to all of you, members of the ecosystem, to for your votes. We had voting open till fifteen September, and we hope all of you cast your vote online. Based on all the votes and due to popular demand, the winner is S Smart. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Prashant. We would love to hear a few words from you. Thank you, thank you so much. This is uh, very—it's uh, very motivating for us and the team. We actually first applied to the Sankal Awards in 2013, so it took us a long time to get an award. So it's really rewarding for us. Uh, I'd like to thank my co-founders, uh, Jackie and Punacha, our entire team, uh, our investors who've uh, helped us along uh, get to where we are now. uh my family are shopkeepers and uh, the customers in rural areas whose lives we've been able to improve and uh, yeah the sankalp forum you guys have done a great job at sankalp avishkar intelicap you've put together a great platform 
We're really looking forward to continuing the conversation with you and with other people who would like to col collaborate with ESMAD to take the impact further and improve more lives in rural areas. Thank you very much again. Congratulations again, Prashant. Uh, let me sort of make sure. That. Congratulations, Prashant. Uh, glad to know that you stuck with us since 2013 till now. Uh, I'm sure it's well deserved award. Um, moving on, I would like to thank everyone for attending this session. Most importantly, all the entrepreneurs who are doing such amazing work. We are proud of the impact that you drive in your communities and the lives you are improving. On that note, I would like to congratulate today's winners again. As you can see, we, we were trying to uh, mimic some of the Oscars and the awards ceremony thing. We hoped we could have been in person to do this, but uh, we'll do as well as we can today. To all the other entrepreneurs in this call, Sankalp Africa Summit will be hosted in March 2023 in person. We encourage you to apply and become a Sankal finalist as we ensure your business and impact gets recognized by all relevant stakeholders. We have some fantastic content over the next two days and would we'll encourage everyone to join the summit. Do log on to the HOVA app to network and meet an incredible global network. Have a wonder wonderful time at Sankal Global Summit 2022. I'm honored to wrap up this event today on behalf of Sankal Forum. Once again, this has been an amazing experience. A big shout out to the whole Santal team. Uh, we're sitting across the world in Mumbai, in Nairobi, uh, in Delhi, and other parts of India. So thank you to all of you for organizing and managing this whole process. For everybody else, good night, good morning, good evening again. And we hope to see all of you all over the next two days and in person soon, either in Nairobi or in India next year. Thank you and good night.